Van Wert High School had one of the first Fellowship of Christian Athletes groups in our area, and then the last year or two had grown dormant until last May when senior Carissa Burgos sent me a tweet saying she wanted the FCA back. That simple 140 character message reignited the legacy for the Cougars. It is so great to hear that FCA is starting back up at Van Wert. FCA was such a huge part of my own spiritual growth and development as a teenager. Uh, to hear that it's going to be the, a part of uh, many other students' lives is exciting. It's really great to hear. Uh, FCA was such a huge part of my spiritual growth when I was in high school. Uh, we had a really solid huddle. Um, Mrs. Hamrick, who I, I is helping out now, uh, was our huddle leader then as well, so it's great to um, see her kind of back in the game. Um, but, uh, but yeah, FCA was a great place for us to uh, connect as students, um, connect as athletes and non-athletes, um, but come together uh, for the sake of Christ. As soon as I heard that they were thinking about starting one back up, I was all into that. That's, that was definitely something I was going to be a part of. Personally, I've been getting a lot out of it. Um, I can't wait to see what the rest of the year holds with this organization and to see what kind of uh, events we can go to and um, different things we can participate in throughout the year. This group of seniors doesn't remember a lot about the guys like Penton, who are the Cougar forefathers, but they have learned from them since. Now that you know more about his faith and what he went through in high school, it definitely shows a lot of his character, and it's definitely somebody to look up to. When I was a freshman in high school, I remember my neighbor stopped by and said, hey, there's this thing called FCA going on uh, at somebody's house down the street. And so <laughs> I'll never forget walking uh, down the street and going to my first FCA meeting and being able to just be in that environment uh, that, uh, you know, the walls of church denominations and, and uh, so many other things uh, were broken down and uh, we were able to just sit there and, and, and talk with our, our classmates um, about scripture and about things that were really relevant to teens. Um, it really impacted me. It's cool to bring in and uh, bring in other people from my uh, school that obviously go to other churches and um, get to know the athletes and uh, just basic Christian students at my own school. And God teaching these FCA students many lessons. He has a path for us in that even while high school seems like a hectic uh, time and um, sports are stressful and everyone wants to do good, um, he's got a path for us and it'll uh, work out if we follow him. Adversity is going to strike you in athletics and high school and just any aspect of your life, even after school. And just being able to respond to that in a positive way is a big deal. I mean, no matter what you're facing, uh, and, and he, God's always there for you. I mean, no matter what, what you're going through, whether it's something as small as, you know, you're, you're not the spot that you want to be, or something as big as, you know, a major life event, you know, a catastrophe, it's, he's always there, no matter what's going on. And that's, that's something that, you know, it, it's hard to think about in the moment, but, you know, just, just saying his name and knowing that he's there is a very big deal, and it's, it's awesome.